Hey, it's Jeff Wilson here from Antarctica. This is our first blurt. That's part of a, an expedition I've been involved with in a, in a remote region. So a remote blurt coming all the way from Antarctica. We are sailing along uh, the Antarctic Peninsula. There's phenomenal mountains behind me there, incredible uh, walls of ice and uh, the old rugged adventurer face here getting banged up by the environment. Uh, the exciting thing is we've made an announcement uh, yesterday evening on board the Unstoppables uh, expedition here that uh, I have uh, plans to make a return to Antarctica to complete what I set out to do. Last summer I completed the first Australian crossing and only the third man to do so, um, crossing Antarctica from coast to coast in 53 days. That was an, an incredible journey, it set the benchmark the fastest journey ever to do that solo unsupported. However, my original intention was to get down to this part and get exited out opposite New Zealand. The permissions process at the time would not let me do that. So the exciting thing now with changes in my kudos down here and also some help from ALE, it looks as though we will build an expedition uh, with very high chance of success, setting the longest crossing of Antarctica ever. Uh, that's 5,200 kilometres and that will set a new benchmark for solo, unsupported polar travel. It will be the longest journey in history by an individual solo in the polar regions. So, so excited to have our first partners on board this mad adventure, and once again in support of the McGrath Foundation and all the good work they do. So stay tuned, look out for any information in the next few months on the longest journey. Uh, really exciting adventure for Australia and globally for polar travel.